consider this. Look, the New York City mayor, the New York City mayor is in a lot of trouble right now because he's highlighted some of these issues, right? Immigration being one. She was the border czar. And yet, what do we have? A massive problem on the immigration front. And he's come out and he's hit it over and over and over again. He's like, we can't do it in New York. We can't pay for this. What are you doing? Sending everyone to New York City. And that has, well, shall we say, earned him no friends in the White House. No friends in the DOJ. So what happened today? Oh, he got hit with some bribery charges. I mean, listen, I have no idea, right? I don't know if he's guilty or not. I'm just going to tell you that if he were playing by the rules, I don't think that he would have gotten hit with this. Do you? Take a look. Is CNN breaking news. And we have more breaking news this hour. The indictment against New York City Mayor Eric Adams was just unsealed in the last several minutes. I want to go straight to CNN's Gloria Pasmino. Uh, she is standing by in New York for us. Uh, Gloria, what does it say? We just got uh, the indictment just a few minutes ago. We are all reading through it, uh, Jim. But so far, we see five charges. The first charge, conspiracy to commit wire fraud, federal program bribery, and uh, to receive campaign contributions from foreign nationals. This is what we knew federal investigators had been looking into for nearly a year now. Whether or not the Eric Adams campaign in 2021 conspired with Turkish nationals to funnel campaign donations into that 2021 campaign. And that is exactly what this indictment appears to be laying out. You know, There's let also me just, a... Let me jump in. I'm going to say something here because I think, I think that <laughs> Donald Trump must be like squeaky clean. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky clean because they've never hit him with some of these like obvious things that say they went after the New Jersey senator with or that they're going after the New York City mayor with. You would think that like if there was anything like that, they would have gone after Trump with those things. Instead, they had to pick apart the valuation on his home in Mar-a-Lago. Right? Like, I mean, that's when you're really kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel. Letitia James, you think you know how much it's worth? $14 million. She said, I told you I would have bought it for that. Right, maybe Kamala could give me a loan. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Well, anyway, um, yeah, I, this is one of the things that actually Heritage has talked about. I mean, you think about all this fear and hysteria from the Democrats over Project 2025. They've actually been all over this, this idea that there's this deep state and that it cannot continue like this. Donald Trump's like, this is not my idea. They try and paint it, of course, the left does as his idea, but it's not my idea. Um, but it's it's pretty good. These are good ideas. I encourage you to go check them out. You can go to the Heritage site. You can check project2025.com. You can get the truth about it at 25truths.org. I mean, I think it's pretty darn important that they've got some energy policy. They've got some education policy. They've got some things against the deep state. They talk about growing our economy. It's kind of a no-brainer. But why does it scare the left so much? Meanwhile, oh, guess who's really scared? Well, she just wants them gone. I don't know why. But AOC, ladies and gentlemen, AOC, AOC's on the attack, going after Mayor Adams. Here she is saying he needs to leave. He leaves, needs to leave now. Watch. Right now, I think this is squarely about Mayor Adams' ability to govern New York City and for the New York City governance to be fully staffed to serve the people of New York City. And frankly, under this constant stream of scandal, uh, I do not know if the city will be able to even name replacements uh, for all of these resignations and vacancies at this point. And so it is a very unfortunate time. Um, we, we do not want to see this happening in our city, but unfortunately it is. And I think for the best of the city and so that we can continue to staff the administration of the city, it would be best for Mayor Adams to Peter step aside. It's really interesting how they've gone after him. They really want him gone. He's talking about that here today. I want to share an excerpt from his press conference. The best federal prosecutors who gave the directive and the orders. I don't know. But we should ask them who gave the directive and orders uh, that uh, we're going to uh, take on and, and create this group of lies. They have to answer to that question. Uh, when it comes down uh, to read it, I peruse through it to get the top lines. The attorneys are going to dig into the crevices of it, but it is clear. Uh, everyone that knows me knows I follow campaign rules mm -hmm. and I follow the law. 
That is how I lived my life, and I don't see coming into the 60s and uh, my age to all of a sudden change what I've done all the time. I follow the law, and I follow the campaign rules. Thank you. Hmm. Interesting timing. I mean, he definitely caused quite a stir, did he not? Yeah, I, I think he did. I think he did.